Julia Bradbury sarcastically remarked, Brexit is good for business when companies were being tipped to leave the UK. Ms. Bradbury, 51, returns to screens tonight for the fourth installment of The Greek Islands with Julia Bradbury on ITV at 8.30. Her trip through Greece is in part inspired by her family history, with her ancestors hailing from the island of Pios. Having visited Crete, Corfu and Santorini already, this week the presenter finds herself in the Sporades, known as the Paradise Islands for their pine forests and breathtaking coastlines. She boards a fishing boat in Skiathos in search of hidden coves and deserted beaches. Heading inland, Ms. Bradbury will also travel to one of Greece's most important religious sites, the hillside monastery of Evangelistria and visit the neighboring island of Skopelos to learn about Greek marriage. However, when not visiting ancient monuments and idyllic islands Ms. Bradbury is extremely vocal and politically partisan on her social media. The former countryfile presenter has shown support for Extinction Rebellion in the past while she also appears to be an ardent Remainer too. In February 2019 Ms. Bradbury quote tweeted an article from Bloomberg Brexit claiming that about 250 companies were in talks to relocate to the Netherlands because of Brexit. The presenter sarcastically captioned the tweet as Brexit is good for business. A range of people commented underneath Ms. Bradbury's tweet, some in support of the presenter's stance while others expressed a strong disagreement. Ms. Bradbury liked and replied, yep, as a person commented, Brexit is certainly very good for business, in Holland. However another person said, your job of swanning around by jet all over the glove to inform us of pollution isn't at risk due to an open-door policy of free movement, the workers of the North have real concerns. People there may not matter to you, but they did to 52% of voters. Ms. Bradbury, who is a climate activist, has also expressed support for Extinction Rebellion in the past, and on November 17, 2018 joined one of their presentations in London. Two years later she reiterated her support for the group, though criticized their strategy after a protester unveiled a banner on Remembrance Day reading, Honor their sacrifice, climate change means war, at a war memorial in Whitehall, London. Ms. Bradbury told Good Morning Britain, you want people to be on your side, and I think this was very much an own goal. I know that Extinction Rebellion has some clever, smart people in their team, and I think in this instance, it's been very ill-judged and very badly thought out. To try and make this connection between people dying during the conflict of war and people that are dying through pollution and other climate issues is clumsy at best. After the GMB appearance Ms. Bradbury responded to a tweet that said Extinction Rebellion were still not taken seriously, and that the climate emergency will have many more casualties than all the wars. The television presenter said, I agree, the pandemic is proof of that. Mistreating nature, devastating natural landscapes and not allowing wildlife to be wild all created enormous problems for the world and humans.
Watch the Greek Islands with Julia Bradbury tonight on ITV at 8.30.